Welcome back. In the last episode, we took on Hearts in the Edinburgh Derby and we drew 1-1. Then we took on Porto in the Europa League and got smashed 4-1 before wrapping it up with a 1-0 home win against Motherwell. Since you've been gone, Hibs have been in action all over the place. Firstly, in the uh, League Cup, they won the quarterfinal against Queen of the South 6-3. A bit of a goal fest with Quintongo bagging four of them. Then we took on St. St. Johnston at home in the league and we drew 2-2. Bit of a bit of a slip up there before we beat Ludo Gretz in the Europa League 2-1. And we wrapped it up right here, right now, hot off the press with a 2-1 away win against Aberdeen in this episode. It's a bit of a selection box uh, for you guys. We're going to take on Celtic in the league. We're going to jump this Dunfermline game. Then we're going to go Hoffenheim in the champion, uh, Champions League, in the Europa League. And then we're going to wrap it up with a semi-final in the League Cup against St. Johnstone. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the Pride of Edinburgh. So here we are, the first game of this video. It's our first meeting between ourselves and the champion Celtic. It's at Easter Road. Uh, the form book between the two sides look like this. We have met four times. Celtic have won two of them. We've drawn one of them and we've won one of them. It was the last game of the season. Uh, which secured us the third spot. So hopefully we can get them on a day just like that. So my team for this match looks like this. Glover and goal, Lazaroni, Hanlon, Erkstrand, Georgian, McGinn, Adam, Tillman, Windus, Murray and the Fez up front. We're going to switch this down a hair though. We're going to go to standard. Our visitors going with a 4-3-3 with Dembele on the bench. Let's go. So Hibs get the match underway. In our black jerseys, I'm not sure why that is. We should force Celtic into their away strip. But I think their away strip is green, so maybe uh, maybe it's a bit of a tactic of theirs. Anyway, here come Hibbs, Windus, to Murray, to Tillman. Bit of a hot property right now, Tillman. Adam, Windus, Fez slips it in for Murray, and Windus taps it in there. The former Ranger player, he'll like that one. And we've got our noses in front. Here comes Celtic now, straight from kickoff. That's never a good sign. Sinclair, decent player. Griffiths, a former Hibernian player, but he's a decent, decent goal scorer. And a bit of a sidebar. If you look at the bottom, you'll see the league table. Tillman hoofs it forward to Fez. Get across in there, boy. Get across in there. Gutebeist. Bust in goal for Celtic. Sinclair blocked by Adam. McGinn. Murray. That's a shot. It's not bad, not bad. But yeah, can't, I can't I can't get to what I'm going to say because we can't get a look at it for two seconds. Sinclair's distance shot amounts to nothing. Glover with the goal kick, boots it long towards Fez, heads it back. Adam McGinn towards Murray. McGinn again to Tillman. Adam, Fez, McGinn, Murray. Ooh, kicked out by the keeper, Lazzaroni. Back to Adam. To Tillman out left. Adam, McGinn, Murray. Shot. Geit burst saves. But yes, if you look at the bottom, you see the table. Um, there's uh, some movement towards the top of the table. That's what I'm going to say. But anyway, here comes Nijin and Griffiths with a shot is wide. Um, in fact, I have... I don't want to jinx us, which I probably will if I keep on talking. But we... Oh my goodness. I was just about to say it. I was going to say, we look, uh, we look a lot better than we have done against uh, the Glasgow sides. I'm not saying we're going to pee all over them, but um, uh, there's more movement at the top of the table, and it's not in our favour. Corner, Adam floats it in there, comes out to Fez. He takes a shot and Geit burst. Uh, makes a dive, but it goes wide. Adam with a game with a corner, out to Fez. Same deal, takes a ricochet. Geit burst, saves it. Uh, Celtic have a corner now to, to Griffiths. It's blocked by Murray, who just boots it out. Celtic come again, but it loses it. Here comes Tillman. Very, very dangerous player as Tillman sets up Windus on the opposite side. And that shot goes wide. It's half time. We're in this. And Celtic get the second half underway. Joel Campbell, formerly of Arsenal, I guess. Now a Celtic player. These, they, got, they got such quality players for this division. Anyway, Murray gets a, a fortunate break, but it amounts to nothing. Half, half chance and uh, makes a keeper work. Free kick for Adam. Pumps it in there again, again with his head. Puts it over, though, as uh, Hibbs continue to pile the pressure on. Here comes Windus. McGinn 
A bit of a tangle with the referee, but here comes Celtic on the break. Campbell to Griffiths. Has to shoot from distance, but goes wide. Again, Celtic now. Lustig to Sinclair. He's got a couple of players with him. It ends up with Griffiths and an easy goal for Nitchum. And now Celtic have their noses in front. We haven't been attacking, so let's go for it. Let's just go for it and go for the jug. These punks don't deserve anything. At least, at least I'll give them a point. Well, I, I, right now they're going to take all three, but we deserve we deserve something from this game. We've been the better better team. McGinn to Windus sets up Fez. Got bodies in the box. Tillman, he's been he's been a sensation so far. Tillman on loan from Bayern. Windus towards Fez. McGinn Tillman again got overlap. Use it. Lazzaroni punts across in there. Someone get on the end of it. Georgian, the right back, comes in with a shot. Right to Geit Burst. And he saves it. He boots it out towards Griffiths. Can Hibbs get control of the ball? No, they can't. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. No, they can't. No, they can't. Griffiths on his own. Shot from an angle up and wide. I've got looking at my bench now. Look and see who can change this game for us. Lazzaroni. Adam. Tillman. Ooh, can't get a good cross in there. Here comes Joel Campbell. Branovic. Nitchum. Griffiths. Nitchum. Branovic shot is up and over. And I am looking at my bench now. I'm trying to see what I can do. 70 minutes gone. Right on the money. Made a couple of changes there. Hopefully they can add something to the lineup. Bit of fresh legs. I've had to take the deadly Tillman off. But Adam's corner pumps in there. Eventually comes to Windus and he puts it up and over. It's not all doom and gloom. It, it is a little bit doom and gloom, but... You know, this is one of the big boys. I was hoping we'd, we'd match. Well, we, I wouldn't say match them, but I hope we'd give them a game. Well, we have given them a game. Um, there's still a little bit of time left to maybe do the unthinkable. And it looks like they're going to wrap it up. No, Griffiths misses it. Lazaroni cleans up. Back to Adam and Allen. Back to the keeper. Erkstrand. A lot of dilly-dallying going on there. It's not what I like to see. Simonovic slips in for Griffiths. Glover down to save. Celtic again. It's broken up. Boyle sets up Dragonmere. He loses it. Here comes Dembele on the pitch now. Griffiths to Campbell. To Griffiths. Sets it up. 3-1. The points are going to Glasgow. So, Hibbs now. Straight from kickoff. Can they get a uh, get themselves back into the last 10 minutes? Georgian gets the ball. Tries to set up Dragonmere. He's got one man in the box. Can he pick it out? No, he can't. Dembele now sets up Griffiths. Loads of Hibbs players around, but he still manages to get a ball in there. Dragomir loses it. Garcia over the top for Griffiths. Once again, he's surrounded by Hibbs players. I don't know how they're picking these passes out. Uh, the result, as it stands, leaves us in fourth place. It's not Doom and Gloom. We do have a game in hand. On only Celtic, really, so we don't really have a game in hand. Um, so it's not the best situation. Hearts sniffing, sniffing in uh, sixth place, so they're going to be looking to pounce next time we meet. Um, Murray, yeah, free kick. That should be a lot. It is. Celtic go home with a 3 1 win. So that result leaves us in fourth place. Rangers do have a game in hand on us, so technically we could go down to fifth. So we need to dig, and that was our first defeat of the season, which stinks. But And we took the lead, which also stinks. But anyway, we go again. A lot of big games coming up. So let's knuckle down and carry on. So in this video, we continue as we head towards Hoffenheim at home as in the Europa League Group C. Before that, just to bring you up to speed, last time out we did take on Don Fermilin and we won a nine-goal thriller, 5-4, uh, with uh, goals aplenty from my boys. So here we are, game two of this video. It's a home match in Group C of the Europa League. Can we keep our uh, keep up the pressure on Porto and get away with a hopefully hopefully a win? Hoffenheim, this is the, this is the match to win. This out of the whole six of them, we need to win this one if we're going to have a chance to uh, make it to the next round, baby. So the match, oh, actually, in fact, the starting 11 for this match looks like this. Glover and goal, Lazzaroni, Hanlon, Ambrose, Georgian, McGinn in defensive midfield, Tillman, Adam, Lindsay, Madden with Dragomir up front, counter-attacking. Uh, it's going to be tight. So our visitors going with a 4-2-3-1. Let's go, boys. So Hibs get the match underway. Keep my, uh, some of my big hitters on the bench um, because I think this is going to be... I'm hoping a defensive performance by Hibernian. Save it. Save some uh, goal scoring prowess, maybe for the last, last 15, 20 minutes, if we need it. Because um, I would gladly take the point right now. Uh, 
Denman Bay for Hoffenheim. Brought down. A couple of little scrambled shots there. Kramer now for Hoffenheim. Eventually comes back to Hibbs. Lazzaroni towards Dragomir on his own. Madden has a little cheeky effort. Great play by Dragomir um, to pick him out. 20 minutes gone. We're still in it. Which is good. Here come Hoffenheim though. Sorensen to Dembe to Paslak. To Chol. Is it Chol? Is it Choi? It's Chol. 30 minutes gone. Porto got their noses in front against Ludo Goretz. They seem to have this group under control. Um, as for the second spot, it's it's pretty... The minute's tight. I'm hoping it'll still be tight at 19 minutes. Amiri's shot is up and wide. Come off and I'm no Kramer. Amiri. Sets of Ute's shot is wide. Ute, son of Utre. Drag on Mia. On a yellow. He's got to take it easy. Unless he's going to give me down 10 men. And that would be absolute pants in this situation. Hack's shot is from distance and wide. Bowen with the goal kick. Uh, well out of position if we could take advantage. But he's back now. And Hack again towards uh, somebody. But uh, it's broken up by Ambrose. Ute's there. Amiri. Joel. Gerhardt, broken up by George, and he puts it forward to Dragomir. He's on a yellow. He's on his own, though. Sets up Tillman, who's come from a long way to help him out. But his shot straight at the keeper as we approach the halftime whistle. We are still in it. Uh, nil nil. So, this is the situation I was hoping for. A little, obviously, he's still got a little bit of time to go. But still in the game. We're not out of it. Uh, we're not really in it. But we've we've kept them at bay. But the majority of it is this is the commentator's curse you watch um if i can get to the last 20 still within a good good chance of getting a draw winning it you know what i mean then we might we might turn the screw pass lack shot is wide they're starting to turn the screw somewhat glover good hands take your time Pick a good pass. That's not a good one. And that's hack shot eventually goes wide. So we're at 60. They've made all their changes. I've yet to do it. Amiri, free kick blocked. Here comes Hack, though, for Hoffenheim. Try to go again. Wagner, again, his shot is wide. The Hoffenheim faithful try to cheer on their boys. Hack is now injured. They are now down to uh, 10 men. So let's uh, try and take advantage of this. Who have I got? And then we're going to we're gonna try and go attacking. We're at home for Pete's sake. Let's give it a go. They're down 10 men. Let's, let's take advantage. 15 minutes go. This is ballsy. Ballsy by Hibbs, boss. Is it going to pay off? Is it going to pay off? I'll take a point, though. I'll take a point. Gladly. Gladly take a point. Corner, Adam, Fez, shot, Murray, turns and shoots. It's wide. Aberdeen doing the business against Vienna. Adam, corner. Ambrose runs his socks off. Hopefully he plays a good ball, which he does not. Here come Hoffenheim, Wagner, Amiri, Paslak, Wagner, Amiri, shot wide. Last five minutes to hang on. Let's give him a bit of... Uh, come on, boys. A bit of encouragement last stretch here. Five minutes of out of time. You can do this. You can get something here. Bauman boots it only to pass lack. Gerhardt for Hoffenheim. Boots it long. Ambrose cleans up to Georgian now. Georgian with a bit of pace. Hoffs it forward. Murray is brought down. It, it's a penalty. Fez is going to take the penalty. Come on, Fez. Come on, boys. Just the hips faithful behind you. And he tucks it in there. What a way to win it. 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 That's my rap. Yes. Holy shnikes. Let's wrap this baby up. That. Hang on a minute. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Murray. To Georgian. Murray. Cross it. Ryan. Take your time. 
Well, my friends, that is the Sam Allardyce way of winning a football game. Obviously, Blackburn Rovers supporter here speaking. Uh, years of Allardyce at the helm. Long ball situation. Keep it tight. Give yourself a chance to win it at the death. And we did. In the oldest way of doing it. With a penalty. 1-0. Three points in the bag. Important three points. So just a little tidbit. Uh, there's a consortium looking, sniffing around. Uh, looking to take over here, Bernie. Now this could be good news. It could also be bad news. So obviously they, if they do go forward, they might invest some money into the club. But also they might look for their own manager. But... To be honest with you, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. We are in the semi-finals. We're going to be talking about that in just a second of the, uh, the League Cup. And we're doing all right in the league and also in the Europa. So uh, hopefully they, um, they, if they, if that goes through, they you know, know what's good for them. So here we are in the last game of this video as we take on St. Johnson the League Cup semi-final. What's at stake for the within it? So here we are in the last game of this video as we take on St. Johnson League Cup semi-final. And what is at stake for the winners? It is a final cup date with Owen Coyle's Ross County. How good will that be to maybe smash them buggers uh, and rub some salt into the wounds to Owen Coyle? Uh, as you can tell, don't really like the chap. So my start 11 is like this. Glover and goal, Lazaroni, Hanlon, Erkstrom, Georgian, McGinn, Silverka, Adam, Tillman, Windus, Murray up front. So our, well, I was going to say hosts, but it's actually played at Hampden Park, Glasgow. Neutral venue. Hopefully it's a big sellout. Maybe we'll get some good gate receipt cash. Uh, but our opponents going with a 4-4-2. And look at this fella up front. Some other, some more business I've got to settle with that chap. But let's get the game underway. Here we are in our away black jerseys up against St. Johnston. With Anthony Stokes. So at Hampden Park, it doesn't look too packed. If you look around, there's a lot of empty seats. Not sure why that is. In fact, are they... I'm looking more at the stinking crowd than I am the match. I don't know why it is so empty. This is a League Cup semi-final, people. Chance to make it to the, the final. St. Johnson with an effort. Eventually cleared. Davidson, Eaton, Lawless. Gets a cross in there. Georgian blocks it. Here comes Hibbs, though, with Tillman. Not many players forward. Murray. What are we on? Counter? We're going to sort that out. Adam. Tillman. Windus. Or do we? Do we just leave it? Let's just leave it. And there's the screaming Hibs. Faithful. They're taking up that end. Stokes. Ooh. Yeah, let's get this off. I'm going to control the game. Lazzaroni. McGinn. Silverkip. Adam. Lazzaroni. Adam. Yeah. Wolfform. Free kick, Adam puts it in. He'll get a go again towards Tillman. Gets a cross in, not too good. Adam slips him again. But here comes St. Johnston with Stokes. His shot is wide. Glover boots this long towards St. Johnston's defence. Easton to Lawless, to Patton, to Davidson. Cummins now breaks up, and here come Hibbs with Tillman. A lot of hips plays in the centre of the park. Silverka loses it. Lazzaroni cleans up. Silverka to Adam. He has a couple of bodies for him. Windus is one of them. And that, uh, his effort is pushed wide. It's pretty even. Stephen is also even. But we have our noses in front. Here comes St. Johnson though with Wotherspoon outright. It's closed down a little bit. Patton to Cummins to Stokes. He turns and shoots and he gets Super Johnston. Super J. Super, Super J. St. Johnston back in the game. Of course it's flipping Stokes. The boy doesn't know how to find the back of the net for me. Even, oh my goodness. And St. Johnston nearly take the lead. <sighs> get rid of it. Get rid of it. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Tillman, McGinn. Come on, boys. Tillman. Adam. Windus. Get cross in. Get a good cross in. Back to Adam. Silverka. Tillman. His shot is uh, parried behind for a corner. Adam will take it. Nobody's there. Actually, pretty pretty bad teamwork on that corner. Hibbs players were clustered in the middle. No real... You know, I wanted to see them scattered about a bit. Anyway, here come Hibbs again. Adam. Silverka. Windus. Silverka. To Windus, gets a cross in. Silver, Tillman strikes. What a rocket. That boy's a bargain. Even though I haven't bought him, but on loan. Superstar. Tillman. Windus. The goal scores for Hibbs. 
Oh my goodness gracious. That is ridiculous. So, that goal lasted, uh, what, 60 seconds, 90 seconds? It's a glover. You uh, need to switch on a bit. I'm going to give the... I'm going to give Marciano a run. Windus, get a cross in. Or have a go yourself, son. Have a go yourself, greedy turd. As we creep and crawl to the half time, it's 2-2. Thrilling for the neutral. It's pretty crappy if you're a Hibs fan. So, St. Johnson, get the second half underway. The fifth goal of this match, obviously crucial, I feel. Uh, we have taken the... Well, what happened there? Something went on there. I think we had a goal disallowed. I saw a number crop up right here. Lazzaroni, Silvica, Adam. Towards Windus. Cross it in there. Tillman does get a second. Hibbs, now that the nose is in front. Hang on in there, guys. Please. Please. Wotherspoon, free kick. Comes out right back out to Wotherspoon. His shot is wide. 75 minutes gone. The last 15 minutes of the semi final. <laughs> 80 minutes. That corner is crap, but Silvica gets it back and gives it to Adam again. If we can float in and get another goal, that would hopefully seal the deal. Because right now. Stokes free kick is blocked. Lazzaroni, can he get to it? Cummins does. As for St. Johnston as a whole, here they come. Anderson? Nope. It's broken up. Easton Murdoch. Lawless. Stokes. Body in there. Cummins heads right at Glover. He saves. Um, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching the bench whatsoever. Adam, free kick towards Windus. Get across in there, boy. Back to Adam. Slips in there. Tillman shot. Could have had a trick. Goes out for a corner, though. Adam punts it in there. Go and have a shot. McGinn's shot goes wide as we are into the final five minutes of the 90. Windus to Murray. You've got players with you. Use them. Use them. Goes behind for a corner. Not bad effort. Adam. Murray. Use your players. Adam. Hanlon. Tillman. You had time, boy. You had time. <sighs> Kids today, eh? Kids today. Glory hunters. Glory hunters. Lazzaroni, McGinn, Silvica, punts over the top. Oh no, here comes St. John's Spurs broken up. Oh no, they're here, they come again with Stokes. They've got they've got time left, time on the clock. Easton crosses it in there. Craig heads it clear. John Anderson, Ugh, Lazzaroni, Lawless, get rid of it. Craig, Easton, somebody get rid. It'll be a corner. Murdoch, it's cleared. Only as far as Craig for St. Johnston. He's running out of puff, trying to... Stall play. Easton punts it forward. Surely that's offside. No. They continue. Forster. Lawless. It's a throw. It's a throw. We are hanging on for the dear life of us to get to the League Cup final. It's cleared. Forster. 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 Windus is brought down. Surely. No. The play ref player plays on. And a clean shot is up and wide. Surely that's enough now. Didn't use a substitution whatsoever. The boys, the 11 boys did good. They did great. So that result puts us into the final when we take on Ross County. And this is where we, you will join me next. We'll take on Porto, Ross County and Hamilton in the next video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. and keep you bang up to date with all things Football Manager 2018 and beyond. And of course, Blackburn Rovers. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. Glory on the Rhine featuring Schalke Nulfia and Reach for the Summit featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up. Subscribe. Ciao for now.